Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. We're going to talk about hydration today. Many of these smartwatches have a monitor in them for telling you gently when you should take a drink of water. And hydration is really about water for health. So, Quickly, I want to go over this so you can get the most out of your smartwatch. And if you don't have one yet, which ones you may want to consider. And also about your water. Let's get into it. First of all, hydration depends on quantity of water, the quality of the water, and the timing of when you actually drink water. Let's take timing first because that's what we do with our smartwatches. Zero that would be if you don't ever even know you're thirsty and just die, okay? <laughs> I give you a one if you drink water when you're thirsty, all right? That's, I don't know how big our scale is. We'll see when we get there, but that's at the very bottom pretty much. Drinking water when you're thirsty is kind of like deep diving in a pool and uh, trying to get air when you think you need to breathe. By the time you think you need to breathe, you got a long way to go to get your breath. By the time you're thirsty, you're kind of past the point of when you should have had water. So drinking when you're thirsty, well, it gets the job done, but it isn't best for health. So you get a watch, and a smart watch that has oh things like step count and reminders for sedentary uh, moments and, and also hydration. That's okay, but it's pretty much a fixed timing thing. Maybe it's set for every 45 minutes or so to vibrate to let you know to take some water. Better than nothing. But what about if you could adjust that time frame so that you actually were able to be notified when you need to drink the water, not just based on time, but based on you and if you actually need water. That's what we're going to get into with these watches here. This is the Heel B and it is called the Go B3. Now I've got links and discounts and everything for all the stuff I'm going to show you and I'll tell you right up front I'm an affiliate with all of these guys primarily because I believe in the products. I only work with companies that I really trust and believe in. So first thing is about timing and it's getting the right device to notify you ahead of time of when you may need to take in some water. We'll talk about that in detail a little bit later. Quality comes in when you talk about the essence of water. Now basic tap water, which is like this, is pretty much just water with maybe a few trace elements in it, some chlorine to keep away bugs and, and stuff like that. You can get bottled water off the shelf. You can get stuff with electrolytes and all those goodies in it. But if you really are looking to uh, maximize the quality of the water when you drink it to give it the best absorbing capacity. So when you drink a little bit, most of it goes into your body for health as opposed to a little bit of it and the rest of it goes through. Keep down on the uh, huge amounts of water you may want to drink in quantity and drink what you need for your body with hydration multiplier components in it that ensure that you're getting the best quality out of the water for your body okay and that's this thing called liquid iv and i'll show you a piece of paper on that i've also got a link for you and a code for you for getting discounts and a pretty little picture and we'll go into more detail on that too liquid iv is an additive to water to enhance its absorbing capability in your body when you drink it. You drink it not when you're thirsty, but when you know you're dehydrated and how much you drink. Well, this is where we get into some of the fun stuff about this watch. Now, I'm going to I'm going to focus on this one, the Hilby Gobi 3, the Gobi 2, less expensive, not quite as fancy, um, but it gets the job done as well. Uh, and then of course, we're going to talk about how you integrate it all together. Let's start with this. Now this Gobi 3, this is truly an amazing device. It's got all kinds of things in here and we've talked about this and done a full review on it before. Today we're on hydration. So I want to bring over 
the app that this tethers to and show you some of the data that was collected. Now, the last couple of days, I've not been putting it on and not using it because I'm going to start using it with the hydration components added to the water to see what kind of a difference is. But I want to show you guys the water balance and what it does. Now, this actually collects all kinds of information. A couple of days ago, three days ago, you see how I have an energy balance, which is the calories taken in from food combined with with my metabolism and minus the exercise out here I ate more than I should have so I could gain weight here I didn't and this is this is great uh, the watch itself monitors when you actually eat food and it's absorbed into your body the sensors can tell when the glucose level and whatnot changes in your body to report to you how many calories actually got absorbed from what you ate and when and the part that's down below is when you've actually burned calories in exercise. So you get your intake minus your burn, gives you your balance, and your burned is made up of stuff when you're calm and routine and walking, exercise stuff. And then, of course, the huge amount is your basal metabolism. And so the art is to like uh, work on this to help improve that so your overall burned is going to be higher or lower depending on whether you're gaining or losing weight. So anyway, bottom line, this is a, a way that you can uh, monitor all of your food intake and exercise activities. Water, hydration, I don't have any data for here or here. I want to go way back here. Way back here, when I first put it on, it goes into a calibration mode. It has to learn from your body what's going on in terms of the response to hydration. So you get some funny stuff going on, and then boom, it kicks in. And it can detect whether you're dehydrated or hydrated okay when you're below the line you're dehydrated now a little bit's okay when you're above the line you're hydrated of course you take it off which is or switch days which is what's happening there uh, I went to bed and I didn't have anything to drink beforehand and I go into a dehydrated mode now of course it's in sleep mode it's not going to vibrate me in the middle of the night to get me up but it is making note that 89% of the time on that particular day I was dehydrated. I was actually purposefully dehydrating myself so that I could show you guys this. When I got to this point, I chugged a glass of water, just plain water, a bunch of it, and boom, yeah, I shot up to being hydrated, but how much of it stuck? Not very much. And that's the whole purpose of talking about timing, quality, and quantity. A large quantity when I'm thirsty gives me some relief, but it doesn't last. I'm back down to pretty much dehydrated very quickly. So the Gobi 3 or the Gobi 2 are smart devices that you can wear. And when they vibrate to let you know that you should drink water, they're not doing it when you're thirsty. They're doing it when they're detecting that you are in a relatively low hydration mode and now would be a good time to take in water. You may not even think you're thirsty, and you don't think you need to drink, but take a sip, take a couple. If you're hydrating with something that's going to help you absorb the water better, just do it, and let the watch guide you because it's got the science behind it that's figuring this out for you. All right, let's move on. Timing. Okay, got that down. Quality. Now let's talk a little bit more about what you can do with your water and to your water to enhance its absorption and uh, effect on your physiology. Here you go. This is a, a basic introduction to this concept of liquid IV. So it says that out of three out of four people basically experience dehydration. And that probably means you're dehydrated right now. And you may not even notice. Dehydration is the loss of water and salts essential for normal bodily function. And it occurs when the body loses more water than it takes in, just like we saw with the calories in and out. It's we're machines that do that kind of thing. Basic daily activities like breathing and walking cause the body to excrete water and can lead to dehydration. So imagine how dehydrated you must be after sweating from strenu strenuous physical activity. You don't need to imagine. You know, I'm sure. The daily dangers of dehydration include headaches, dizziness, brain fog, muscle fatigue, muscle cramping, fuzzy thinking, just to name a few so it's really good to stay hydrated in fact we all know uh, Tom Brady and his uh, zealous enthusiasm for staying hydrated and 
it works, doesn't it? Yeah. So this is a stick, and one stick of liquid IV can provide two to three times the hydration of just water alone. So it's a multiplier. It's got different flavors, electrolyte drink, and so forth. And it's dependent upon a thing called cellular transport technology. Don't want to get too technical for you, but here you go. It's basically saying you take sodium and potassium and glucose, you add that to water. That's called CTT. It's uh, an expedited water delivery system in your body. When you take in water, it goes into your digestive system, but the intent is to get it into your cellular system, your blood and the rest of your body. So cellular transport, like oxygen. Osmosis, you've heard of that? When Dr. Oz and Moses got together, no, no, that's that's Oz Moses. This is osmosis, and that's when liquid goes across a membrane because of the effects of different chemicals. This is the kind of thing that's going to give you those chemicals and enhance the quality of the water. So multiply your hydration. And there's a lot of different products this company's got. Just to show you, there's this one, which is basically electrolyte drink mix. Here's another thing they've got that also has a component for immune support in it. I'm going to send you over to the website. That's that link right there. And uh, you can look around and see what you think. Um, but basically, what we're after with this component is quality, enhancing the quality. Now, quantity, I want to leave you on this one, um, the watch um, and, and the, the app that goes with it. It's so funny. When I first used this, it was set to give me a warning when I was supposed to drink water. And I had it set for eight ounces of water uh, in one gulp uh, at one time. And so it didn't ring very often. When it did, I was already pretty thirsty. And uh, it was doing that funny kind of a thing of notifying me way too late. So I adjusted it. And that's where this little bitty cup comes in. If you take a small amount of water and you've enhanced it so that it's going to absorb more into your body, that's equivalent to a large glass or cup of water that... Um, you'll probably end up most of it coming out of your body and have to go to the bathroom more often. So little amount of water, little amount of quality water, little amount of quality water taken at the right time, and you have hydration for your body. There you go. Smartwatch, smart hydration technology, and you. Thanks for watching, gang. Hope you enjoyed this one. I like to throw in different twists and turns because you've got all those fun little things that these watches can do and we don't really think about them. Now you know. Hydration.